put Mushroom up next. This is probably the funnest stage to work on in the context of the challenge. For once, most of the difficulty came from the route planning as opposed to the actual execution. Most of the enemies in this stage, well really all of them, don't come too much in the way of threatening X, but uh, they definitely get in the way. The biggest problem areas were the last two in this first section here, because as most speedruns go, uh, the terrain is really X's worst enemy. This part and the, the big vertical climb coming bring to mind Boomer Kuunga's stage or, or Sigma Fortress 1 in, in the original X game because it's really just chock full of very uneven terrain and the biggest issue isn't so much avoiding damage as it is finding the optimal way to dash through the thing. There's a speed saver coming up here that I actually picked up from again the run on SDA which is just avoiding the first pass of those crushers. But really, you can see it here, all of the enemies are basically just impeding X's speed. Nothing nothing goes much in the way of popping up uh, uninhibited. You don't you don't really you don't really have a lot of, of danger for taking a hit. Now typically what you'd want to do on this guy is just abuse Frost Tower because it can literally destroy the fucker in seconds, but X has it a little harder with the regular Buster because he can't really do too much to speed up his pattern. All I can try to do is really hit him as much as possible, but um, seeing as I'm not taking damage, there's not a whole lot I can go about in the way of abusing, of a, abusing a hit and, and doing some footwork on the spikes. This is really the only part of the stage where there's actually a danger in taking damage. Um, it's not particularly hard seen as it's it's really just one continuous terrain, but those graphics really go a long way in fucking with your eyes. Uh, it is a consistent way to dash through those those wheeled spikes there. That wasn't really reaction time so much as it was a path. Like I said, most of the problem with this stage was actually coming up with how X was going to move through it as fast as he could. This slack section here is just a breather really before the boss fight. Seeing as he can't climb the walls, there's really nothing you can do in terms of speeding it up, so really the only approach is to calm your nerves and make sure you don't take a stupid hit after the, the hell that came up in the first section. As far as Split Mushroom goes, um, He's really only hard if you're using zero because the contact damage is obviously the biggest danger in the fight and uh, with X you can just kind of cheese him from a distance and also the X buster fires so damn quickly and he spends so much time in the, his, first, his first attack pattern that you can take him down well past half health before he actually starts using anything threatening. All in all though, this one was a really fun stage to work with because as opposed to a lot of the annoyance that I got with Jet Stingray stage, most of the hassle here came from actually toying around with the different areas and trying to find the quickest way through them. Once it came down to making a successful run, I didn't really come up with too much hassle. I think it only took me about a dozen attempts to get this right. So uh, that'll conclude Split Mushroom, next up is Slash Beast, and uh, all pain and no substance, so look forward to that. <laughs>